guys, welcome to my week 34 bump date. Six more weeks to go until I hit my due date. Uh, only time will tell if uh, baby comes before or after. Um, so baby this week is the size of a cantaloupe. Uh, he weighs about five pounds now, which is crazy to think about because five pounds is heavy. That's a lot of weight I'm carrying around. Uh, more on baby. His testicles have now descended into his scrotum. Um, very important. Uh, he is putting on more fat now. His central nervous system is finishing up. Um, his fingernails are fully grown, um, so it's just a lot of like last like finishing touches on the baby. Um, from here on out, it's just mostly going to be gaining weight and putting on more uh, fat um, and just getting ready and getting more into position um, for birth. So starting at this week or next week, um, baby should be head down. Um, and he should start getting more into that position um, to for me to give birth to him. So that's great. <laughs> so that's great. Um, so symptoms this week. Um, I'm really tired a lot. Um, I want to go to bed all the time. I want to sleep all the time. I get really... Um, I get really tired during the day. I want to take a lot of naps. Um, I'm peeing a ton more. Um, I feel like baby is um, pushing more on my bladder than ever before, and so I'm taking a lot more pee breaks. I'm super, super thirsty this week. I drink constantly. I always am thirsty. I still have a lot of like gas. I burp a lot. I fart a lot, um, so that's been great to deal with. My belly seems to be getting bigger and bigger. I just feel like this week it has grown a lot more than in the past. Um, it just feels bigger, harder. Um, I could definitely feel baby more, which they did say like, you know, the amniotic fluid is decreasing and it's more baby now. So I definitely feel his movements more often. Um, I feel him, you know, kicking at my ribs and then I also feel him on my bladder as well. I notice myself forgetting things a lot more. Um, blame it on pregnancy brain, I guess. I just can't really remember a lot. Um, and I'm forgetful. I easily forget things very often. I have to remind myself or have somebody remind me to do things. Otherwise, I just, I'll forget them and they won't get done. My belly is still really itchy, especially like at the top of my sternum. Um, in the middle, like right underneath my chest, it's really itchy all the time. I constantly have to put lotion on it. I've noticed more stretch marks, which is great. I have stretch marks on both sides of my belly. I have stretch marks underneath my breasts and at the top. And now I found I also have stretch marks on my butt cheeks. So that's just been awesome. I keep putting more and more lotion on. Hopefully that works eventually. My nose is still really congested and I constantly feel like I have a cold um, with it being stuffed or runny a lot. It's also itchy a lot as well. I constantly have to itch my nose. I think my hands are starting to get a little more swollen. It's tougher to get my rings on and off my finger. It's not to the point where I need to take them off because I can't get them off, but it is getting harder and harder to take them off so I think I am swelling just a little bit. But looking at my face, I don't feel like I have like swelled at all. I know some women like their cheeks will get puffy and things and it like they'll retain a lot of water weight. And I don't know if I'm just not at that point yet in my pregnancy or if it's just not gonna happen, but I feel like I still look pretty normal, pretty thin in the face. Weight, um, I'm about 148, 149 right now. So I'm almost to the 150s, which is really scary and crazy. Um, I started this pregnancy off at 123. So I have gained quite a bit. 
Um, but I only have a couple more weeks to go, so I don't think I'm gonna gain too much more. I definitely feel, like I was saying, I feel baby move a lot more. He has um, more of like a schedule, I feel like, of when he's awake and when he's asleep. Um, he's super active at night, right before I go to bed. He's very active in the evenings, I feel him a lot. And like around lunchtime, in the middle of the day, he's very active as well. And in the morning, I think he's pretty active too. Um, they say that like at this point in time baby's sleeping a lot like most of the day but I feel like I have a really active baby because he I always am feeling him moving I never have to worry like oh my gosh is there something wrong I think his you know his movement has decreased no he is always active he is always moving um, and he gets the hiccups at least like five times a day I feel him have the hiccups all the time and he does not like getting the hiccups because every time he gets the hiccups I feel him moving and rolling a lot like in annoyance I haven't had too much back pain which has been awesome um, I'm hoping it stays that way heartburn has actually gone down quite a bit I have not had Tums in a long time um, and I might have heartburn here or there uh, but it's nothing too bad um, I did have acid reflux the other day um, I almost threw up just because there was so much that came up my throat um, but other than that nothing too bad with heartburn so that's been really awesome honestly it's almost kind of like in the second trimester again I really don't have too many bad symptoms um, if it keeps this up like I'm never gonna want to give birth <laughs> so a lot has happened this week um, I had my doctor's appointment we took more classes and I also had my baby shower so starting off with my doctor's appointment I went to my next doctor's appointment for my 34 week checkup um, I went to the office and um, they took my weight and then they also took my blood pressure which I was a little worried about just because um, if you've been following me in my videos um, the last time I went to the doctor's office my blood pressure was really really high um, it was so high that at the end of the appointment they made me sit for five minutes and then they took my blood pressure again to see if it would go down and calm um, and so I was really, really nervous that I was going to have high blood pressure. I was really nervous it might be a sign of preeclampsia. Um, and so uh, before my appointment, I was just trying to just stay relaxed, take deep breaths, try to get my mind off of it. I played games on my phone because I don't think necessarily that like I have preeclampsia. I think it's just I get nervous to go to the doctor's office and it shows in my heart rate and my blood pressure. So I tried to distract myself. They took my blood pressure and it was actually perfect. It's like the lowest it's ever been. Um, so no worries there. I was super happy to hear about that. Um, I met with my doctor. She took my fundal height. It was right at 34 weeks. So baby is measuring right on track. Um, she took her Doppler out and found the baby's heartbeat. It was at 155, I believe. Um, and funny, oh, I mean, I've said this before, she was looking around trying to find it and baby kept kicking. He kept several times at her fetal monitor. He did not like the pressure. And so it's always funny to hear him because we could hear him kicking at it. He did not like that pressure on my belly. And it wasn't even, she wasn't even pressing that hard. He's just so sassy and stubborn. I'm in for a handful with him. So that happened. Um, she, you know, asked me if I had any questions. Um, she gave me a pamphlet to start looking for pediatricians for baby, which I live in Columbus. So there's tons of different options. So I've been narrowing it down to like different places um, that I want to go to and I just need to pick one and she also suggested that I get a breast pump if I'm interested through my insurance provider which I have already ordered it um, but they will not send it to me until um, 30 days before my due date so it'll come in the mail I forget which one I ordered it was so long ago but I'll, I'll show it to you when it comes in the mail she told me that from um, my next appointment will be in two weeks and then after that appointment it'll be every week that I go to the doctor so it's crazy to think that um, you know I'm getting to the end I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna start going weekly to the doctor oh gosh that's a lot of peeing in cups um, but I know it's all good it's all good for the baby and they want to make sure I'm safe and baby safe and healthy so whatever they need I will do so my next appointment um, they are going to check baby, baby's position and make sure that he is head down. 
Um, I think they might check my cervix, I'm not sure. And then they're also gonna take a swab to test for group B strep, I think it's called. And it's just the bacteria that you have in your rectum um, or vagina, I can't remember. It's just a bacteria that you have and if you do have it and you give birth, like it could cause severe um, problems for a baby. And so it, they do this swab beforehand and so if you do have it, they just know to give you an IV during labor with antibiotics so that baby is safe. Um, so next appointment won't be too much fun um, with all of those tests, but it'll be interesting to hear more about baby. I'm super interested to hear if he is head down or not. I think he is. I'm hoping he is. 